for G2 to actually pick the Wukong because you then deny one of those engaged tools. Wukong plus Lulu can be a devastating combo, and now G2 get themselves a couple of engaged tools along with Yumi plus engage is typically always a very strong combo for AD any. matchups because of his passive stone skin, um, obviously allowing him to stack up armor. So as we see Wukong gain more popularity, AP champions really put a thorn in his side. It's now bot lane. Yeah, there's a gigantic thorn in upset side below 100 HP. The shield comes up from the Lulu Ooh. underneath the Power Destiny turns it around for first blood to really nicely done. And now all of a sudden the reply gank Xerxes gets the double stun, the true damage burst, and the last auto to upset. In there, and then pulled the plug on it and reacted to Yankos when he ganked bottom. And we already heard it on the desk. Set really excels diving because of his W, and they're gonna dive Wonder again. Yeah, they really are. Wonder's gonna get caught up by that chilling smite, gets pulled backwards by Xerxes, gets punched in the face, and a flash parlay, three to zero. That's fairly obvious. They don't have the best tools. You know, there's no Malphite on the team, no Maokai, anything like that. But they do have this idea where you throw down the Gangplank ultimate. Yeah. And this is often kind of like what people would play when they would play like Sivir comps. They'd have like the Gangplank Sivir, and like he places the ult behind you, and then Sivir zips everyone forwards. I mean, Alfaro, he literally just landed a powder keg on Wonder's face and a parlay to run him down. I mean, two, of course, are trading this for plates topside as well as free waves going into that Ezreal's back pocket. We talk about this all the time. Power yeah. spikes, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. But basically, both teams are making their handshake, and everyone knows what's happening. Like, G2 knew that that dragon was going to go over to Origin. Origin, they know that they know, so we're going to take it, so we all know. Yeah. Everyone knows. I know you now know. I, I know you know. <laughs> Wonder plus Yankos this time round. They're going to get the Cyclone damage onto Nuketak. He does go down underneath the tower. Thus far, it's a trade. One for one mid for jungle. Alfari's joined the fray. Wonder's burning down. Not going to be able to get taken out, and Alfari can't find the second. Canabrage has just become a Available. He's thrown down the barrels on the ultimate rod, and there comes the showstopper. Now Caps is the next one that's in trouble. He's forced to flash can away. You, can you think of a more annoying duo than Zoe plus Yumi? Paddlestar goes out, sleepy trouble bubble. Yankos manages to find the kick. Somehow Nuketuck still survives and finally goes down. Broach. But honestly, yeah. these dark areas, these dark uh, And you have to walk through spots. the skill shots. What a walk to me like Perks and Mickey kind of had mid, mid siege and lockdown. Uh, there was a lot of time spent defending that. I think it was a really early call. A little bit OG side, maybe with the, dif the difference being execution on that scaling is more challenging. I mean, it's real, and they are ready to fight it, but Origin might beat them to the punch. Well, Origin are going to be able to take this tower down uncontested. G2 forced to back away. Really well done. While that's going on, Yankos waiting in the wings. If anyone lingers or now Origin are split up, dun dun, Yankos can look for that Dragon Range kick. Origin are doing a really good job playing around Corky's mobility as maybe someone's caught. Yeah, really respect Flash there from Upset. Destiny gets over the wall for a second before Perks chases him down, but the millis... The numbers advantage, they're taking objectives. One mistake, one misstep. Yeah, and there we go. All of a sudden, Wonder comes around from the side. Nuketuck goes out. Moonlight Vigil Ooh. comes out. The damage from Upset obliterates Yankos. Teleport comes down from Alfari. Powder kegs are dropped and the explosions don't find a target. He now gets exhausted. Cannon Barrage is on cooldown. Been used the final chapters thrown out. Defensive flashes from OG. This nuke duck fires a missile barrage down the mid lane. And it is so important what happened there for both teams. The fact that Origin were able to stave off G2 and now looking for a wraparound. Here comes Zersei, the showstopper delivers upset to Origin's waiting arms. 22 minutes into the game. Caps is behind the red buff. There goes the paddle stone. Afari is chunked down low. He's burning from the ignite. Yankos is coming from the south. Sleepy Trouble Bubble doesn't find the target. Caps unable to find the kill. Now Fari escapes with his life. He manages to eat an TV? orange and it gets okay. Upset's chasing forward. Flamethrower is available. Wonder's coming out. No cyclone. Paddle stars in the pit. Origin get the Baron, but at what cost? Nuketuck stays alive before how long? Upset has killed Yankos. The empowered recall from Nuketuck is going down. Origin, they have done it. Wipe them there and the Baron means nothing. But Origin get the Baron, they get it out and now they're attacking the map and they got the cloud drake and yes it does mean that they have one wave waiting for them but that means that you maybe get one tower two instead of suffocating the entire map simultaneously g2 have wasted a lot of time on how effective origin are giving the ap the fact that arden sensor gives 60 ap for 2300 gold it gives you movement target speed. just yet he's able to use the w to escape origin are in a bad position right now you do not want to be wandering through the jungle like this no you don't but the wild growth comes up so he gets the show stop and look 
look at the damage! Caps and Yankos are melted where they stand, and despite Wonder getting a multi-man knock-up, it does not matter. Gigi were able to hold them in the jungle and to continue to poke and prod. Finally, Origin are living up to what we keep holding them to. We keep saying, no, they really are the third best team in the LEC. Not... The tower, it's a couple autos from death. Caps is holding Nuketuck in the bottom lane. The 1-3-1 one, one for the time being is now open into the base. Origin have got top. Bot looks like it's going to fall. Middle is just about to as well. Frost, Origin, they're inside the base. Which means that G2 are going to have to find some desperation here. I'm looking at Wonder. I'm looking at Yankos. Are you going to find the engage? Are uh, you going to find the pick? Because right now they're just getting suffocated. Yeah, they are being suffocated. They are being drowned. They are being squeezed out of the rip. Cersei goes in, gets the wild growth, goes right back with that insane speed buff, gets the kill before he even goes golden to buy some additional time. Wonder is dead. Down. Origin lose one, and they will find themselves four. They will find themselves a Nexus. Origin beats G2. And welcome to the conversation, Origin. This may have saved you. Yeah? If you lose against G2, it's probably expected. But if you got smashed by G2 after losing...